In today's video, we will explore the process of exothermic welding. We will show you a live demonstration of how to use exothermic welding to permanently join a copper bonded steel rod to a galvanized bus bar for electrical earthing. First, let's understand what exothermic welding is. It's a cost-effective and portable process that forms high-quality, permanent, metal-to-metal -metal connections. This process involves a thermite composition that, through an exothermic reaction, heats the metal without any external heat or current. An aluminothermic reaction between aluminum powder and metal oxide generates this heat. Materials such as stainless steel, brass, copper, bronze, galvanized steel, steel rail, cast iron, and copper-clad steel can be welded using this process. Axis exothermic welding is used in creating electrical connections and joints worldwide by railways authorities in substations, power plant earthing systems, telecommunication systems, and much more. Now, let's discuss the various tools required for this process. Firstly, the mold itself. Each graphite mold creates a unique joint. The weld powder, which is essential for creating high quality electrical connections between metals. It comprises of granules of copper oxide and aluminium. The ignition powder provides the initial flame needed to start the welding process. The disc serves as a timer, ensuring the welding powder reaches the correct temperature. The steel disc contains the exothermic reaction within the mold's upper crucible until welding is complete. The flint gun or igniter is a crucial tool for igniting the exothermic reaction. The hand clamp is used to securely hold the mold, ensuring safe operation. Hand gloves should always be used for protection during exothermic reactions, as the flames are released from the exhaust cap and the temperature of the molds can rise to 800 degrees Celsius, and this can cause severe damage to your hands. Mold brush is used for cleaning the mold after completing the weld joints. Now, Let's go through the step-by-step -step process for joining the steel rod to galvanized bus bar. Firstly, insert the bus bar and rod into the mold and lock the mold using the hand clamp. Secondly, place the steel retaining disc in the mold cup over the tap hole and then pour the weld metal powder into the mold cup. Thirdly, pour the starting powder on the mold lip and close the mold's lid. Fourthly, use the flint gun to ignite the starting powder from the side. Fifthly, wait at a safe distance for the reaction to be complete. Sixth, remove the joint from the mold. And number seven, check and make sure the joint is secure. That's it. You have successfully joined a copper bonded steel rod to a galvanized bus bar. And this is now ready for earthing. At Axis, we manufacture and test our AxiWeld line of products according to the IEEE 837 standards, which is the IEEE standard for qualifying permanent connections used in substation grounding. Please share your feedback and queries in the comment section below. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about exothermic welding, lightning protection and earthing systems along with many other videos about electrical engineering. I'll see you in the next video.